Would you be replaced by AlphaCo if you are a developer? Since AlphaCo was released, which was yesterday, a lot of people, a lot of people are concerned that developers are going to be replaced by AlphaCo. Even some people say humans are going to be replaced by AI pretty soon. And、uh, also, many people commenting about AlphaCo.、Uh, Most of the comments are about worries. Uh, um, in my previous videos, I made a video about Alpha Code. I explained what Alpha Code is. So if you don't know what it is, you can go back and take a look. So today we're going to talk about will developer be replaced by Alpha Code. In case you don't know what Alpha Code is, let's just recap real quick. Alpha Code is a AI created by DeepMind. They can do, uh. Solve competitive programming problems really well. In fact, he attended certain certain competitions and he ranked within top fifty four percent of the com、uh, att competition competition attendees, which is very impressive things. And the problems he solved is something like this. Okay, so what do I think? First of all,、uh, if you haven't.、Um, Subscribe. You should subscribe because this channel is going to produce more AI-related, technology-related contents. Okay. So back to our topic. What do I think? Humans being replaced by AI is another topic, which is a larger thing, right? So if humans are replaced by AI, that's basically、uh, very, very crazy things. They We can they they can happen right, and、uh, I don't think that will happen anytime soon. But what about developers being replaced by Alpha Code? Because this Alpha Code is already so good; they can solve so many different programming problems, right? My answer is no, and I have three two two reasons for that. Okay, the first reason is the problems the AlphaCo solve is very narrow. It's very well defined, extremely well defined. You don't deal with these kind of problems in your daily life. If if you are a software engineer, so let's just take a look at this problem. So this is the one problem that AlphaCo can solve: a roof construction. So it's just a lot of description about math, and.、Uh, It's very very well defined. You have some input, you have output. So input is like this, output is like this. You need to write a program to solve that. So basically, this is the math problem. Very well defined math problem that can be solved by computer. Okay. So、um, in the real life, a developer don't solve these kind of problems at all. Well, if you are a back back then developer, what kind of problems you solve? You are solving、uh, problems like Uh, building a database that can host the all data in the core forces, for example, users' data, and also a lot of different objects here, right? You need to store them. You need to store problem problems. There are so many different problems. Every problem have different、uh, problems have different kind of、uh, attributes, problem description, solutions, examples. So you need to build up、uh, the infrastructure for that. So you need to know what kind of、uh, columns this Uh, kind of class we need, and how the relationship between classes. For example, users may have a lot of re different relationships with different kind of problems because、uh, some users already solve certain problems, some users don't. How do you map? How do you deal with these relationships?、Um, it's what the developer is doing. It's very different from this kind of math problem, right? If you're a front-end developer,、uh, you maybe your bosses ask you to do this front-end. They say we need to have a sign-up form. We need to have、um, a problems、uh, on our、uh, navigation bar.、Uh, very abstract, very abstract. So that's the thing that AlphaCo couldn't do because they requires a lot of knowledge of the world to break those problems down to the components. Then you can start program. So、uh, what I want to say is the programmers,、uh, software engineers' major responsibility is not about just writing code. Writing code, in fact, maybe just consists of twenty percent of time. The rest of time, people doing 
communication, maintenance, debugging, deployment. So it's not just coding, right? And even when you do coding, you don't have the instruction like this will define. Okay, so this is first thing. The problems that we usually face as a software developer, it's very vague, very abstract. It requires a lot of uh, natural language understanding, knowledge of the world to break them down. Second thing is uh, majority of software developers' time is actually spending on man maintenance, debugging, solving dependency issues. For example, if there's a bug happening on this website, uh, users, certain users, some users cannot log in. And what kind of problems will there be? You need to investigate. And there are so many layers in modern software, right? It could be in the user uh, models. They have certain field. They, uh, they kind of uh, generated this kind of problem. There's kind of maybe it's migration. When you do a database migrations, there's some certain field, certain columns. Uh, it's not compatible. Or there could be something that your backend server, login servers, or it's done. Or you you need to do some microservices to, to kind of validate your users through a third party is because the API is done. So how do you investi investigate this complex problem? It's what the software engineers do every day. And this is, is a problem that Alpha code couldn't solve, right? So this is first thing. And also some other things like libraries, dependency issues, maybe you want to install, run this program, but you find out your backend cannot run because C++ compilers is not compatible with your machine, virtual machine. How do you solve that? How do you get permission into virtual machine? How do you uh, Google? How do you look at state overflow? Uh, look at other people's answers, look at other people's experiences, and summarize <laughs> into a solution. How do you do that? Those are things that Alpha code couldn't do. So <sighs> based on these two reasons, I do not think Alpha code will replace developer at all. So even the Alpha code generation two, three, I don't think they will be able to do. But that's not uh, that doesn't mean Alpha, Alpha code version number twenty won't be able to replace developer. That's a th kind of a territory I cannot imagine. But at least in the near future, in five ten years, I don't think Alpha code I don't see Alpha code replacing develop developers at all. Okay. And uh, another thing I want to mention is this actually gives us uh, some reflection. What's the value of a software engineer? The value of software engineer is problem solving. It's breaking down a very abstract problems to solvable, well-defined problems. So in other words, software engineers task is to break down this very big problem, business problems into well-defined problems this alpha code can solve. In the future, there may be a kind of teamwork between human developers and the AI developer. Uh, means uh, alpha code. Alpha, you can leverage alpha code. Like you break down the big problems, how to build a database, how to write a search algorithms into ten sub components, sub problems, and we'll define that and lay alpha code to solve it. But there comes up another problem is if you always need to define a program, a, a programming problem as well defined as. Uh, like this, like a competitive programming is uh, well defined. You won't, <laughs> the time, the effort you put into defining these problems is already more than the effort you can actually, you actually coding, you actually, actually code it out, right? So that's another problem. So, and th that's also another reason I don't think Alpha code will replace human because nobody will spend time defining the problems, your daily, daily problems as De well defined as this one because your daily problems is very long tail. You may deal with over 100 problems a week. Then defining 100 problems maybe will take you half years. <laughs> Would you rather spend half years to defining a prob 100 problems or you just solve all of them by yourself, right? So that's another reason I don't think Alpha can so can 
can replace humans. And why uh, Cold Forces problems are so well defined? Because those are problems that are very classic problems. There are only like 100, 1,000 problems that are so well defined. Uh, because the number of problems they need to define is very, very limited. And the purpose is very different, right? Uh, it's not uh, they want to uh, solve the daily, daily things, they want to build product. The reason that they define these problems is they want to uh, make competitions, right? So um, to summary, there are two reasons, three re reasons I don't think uh, alpha code will rep replace human developers. First reason is, uh, uh, usually the problems that human developers are dealing with are very abstract. They require a lot of human uh, understanding, natural language understanding, experiments, experience of the real of real world, uh, which AlphaCo co are com completely lacking. So I don't think AlphaCo will replace humans. Second reason is the majority of time humans spending, uh, the humans spending on is about maintenance, uh, solving bugs, so very complex bugs in multiple layers. Solving dependency issues, uh, they requires a lot of Google communication, talking to other people, talking to other teams or other companies. That's the thing that Alpha Code couldn't do. So programming, software engineering, it's not just about solving a well-defined problem. It's about breaking down problems. In fact, I think the major value of a developer, a good developer, is to break down a business problems to solve problems that are well-defined and can be solved. All right, so that's all for today. If you would like to receive more AI-related content, like today's video, don't forget to subscribe. Your subscription really means a lot to me. And they also will encourage me to make more AI ready videos like these. Other than that, take care and I will see you next time.